Hey everybody! Oh, I'm making so many videos because I did so much shopping the other day because I got paid. Yay! Anyway, um, my name's Susan and my channel's called Shopping with Sue. Welcome! If you're already a subscriber, I'm really excited to see you back. And if you're new, hang on because we have a lot of fun here. At least I do. <laughs> I hope you guys do. Anyway, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today with a lot of new items that are not Christmas. So let me show you what I found. Well, actually, I'm lying. There is one Christmas thing because I do bake Christmas cookies even though I celebrate Hanukkah. So I did not find those really new pretty ones with the red truck on them. So I know they've made these before. I saw these last year. But I got the two for a dollar, which is awesome. So I got two of those. Well, one of those. And then um, for my friends who celebrate Hanukkah, I got the blue and white snowflakes. I mean, this could be for, obviously this is for Christmas, but it works well for Hanukkah too, because I make Hanukkah and Christmas cookies. And then while we're talking about containers, um, I bought these Sure Fresh containers. They're five for a dollar because we are going to be making slime at school tomorrow. And I'm just gonna open this up because I think this is gonna be the perfect size for slime. Wow, these are double wrapped. All right, well, I'm not gonna waste my time opening them, but if you look at the size of them, what we do is we make a whole big bucket of slime and then I divide it up and let the kids take it home and we label it like Karen slime. And of course, I'm sure some of the parents put it right in the trash, but I know some of the parents do let their kids play with it. So I got, I have 14 kids, so I got four of these packs so I'm very excited to, because usually we send it home in a baggie and what happens if the baggie's not properly closed man it leaks <laughs> so this is something new I'm doing this year I'm gonna we don't make slime we make it a few times a year so it shouldn't cost me too much to do that I do get reimbursed for some things at school but some things you know I just pay myself anyway let me show you some exciting new things now I have seen a couple people haul some of these new things, and I think I was one of the first to haul these keychains. I hauled them last week, but I had not found these colors. So this purple is just beautiful. It's got a little bit of pink in it, and here's black and white. Maybe I did haul the black and white, but I definitely didn't haul the purple before. So these are going into friend mail. I have a new friend mail treasure box you know I have a treasure box if you've watched any of my videos you know that I have a treasure box for when some of my students come over to visit me because sometimes they do my um, former students so now I'm gonna have a friend mail treasure box to pull stuff out to send you guys friend mail so those will go in friend mail now um, I'm a teacher I'm a preschool teacher I teach four and five year olds so we're always looking for new squishies because regular squishies even at Walmart they're six bucks and I cannot pay that and my director is not going to pay for that so I was really excited to find these new unicorn ones I know that um, uh, Beth on uh, Shy town girl she hauled them but let me show you what I got I only found three different colors you can see the horns are different colors and the manes are different colors oh they're just so beautiful and they're really awesome and squishy so these are going to go to school absolutely go to school if anybody can't find them let me know and i'll pick them up for you but these these are going to go to school for now now oh my gosh other new squishies and i haven't seen anybody haul these yet Woo! I love when I'm like the first one to haul something not that everybody sees it but it's still kind of fun isn't it when you're the first person to haul something look at these squishies oh my gosh desserts so I don't know it's some kind of maybe it's supposed to be some kind of cheesecake and you know what these smell so good too squishy we'll call it rainbow cheesecake it's kind of a rainbow cheesecake and then we have an ice cream sundae with a strawberry on top Ooh, look at that yeah and then we have a cake with strawberries all around and sprinkles and a strawberry on top maybe I wasn't holding those close enough but squishy yeah let me hold it closer so you can see you can even see the cone looks like a cone but it's squishy and the cheesecake I think it's cheesecake squishy and the last one I found I'm not really sure what this is first I thought it was pancakes 
but I think it is supposed to be some kind of a cake and it just had a design on top. This one, I don't know, this one I find very appealing for some reason and it's really squishy. Mm. And they smell so good too. I know Bonnie at Bon Bon's Halls was saying that her daughter tends to take bites out of them. <laughs> so probably because they smell so good. Anyway, um, so if you're interested in these, you can't find them, let me know. I could pick some up for you. I did not pick up any for friend mail. I just decided to pick these up for school. Because I do have to set some limits somewhere. Yes, I don't usually set too many limits, but anyway. All right, the other new thing I found that I did see one other person haul, I can't remember who it was, were these new wall stickers. I can't open it up, but oh, here we go. No, it's not going to open up. It's not cooperating. All right, with the donuts, yellow, pink, and blue, and blue, orange, and brown so after the holidays are over I'm going to decorate the wall behind me you can see my donut clock up there let me show you if you haven't seen it before so that wall is waiting to be decorated but I'm going to decorate for the holidays first okay something else brand new I was so excited to find I'm all about the band-aids lol band-aids woo it is the little things in life isn't it yes it is I love these. So I bought, and look at these, the JoJo, JoJo Band-Aids. These are awesome. I have a uh, tray at school that I put, it's like a little flat bowl. I think I might have told you this before, but I'll tell you real quick in case you didn't see that video. Um, the teachers are spending, we were spending so much time applying band-aids because four and five year olds need a lot of band-aids. They do. Sometimes when something hurts, they just need a band-aid to make it stop hurting. So I uh, started something new last year and it really worked very well. I put out this flat bowl. It's almost in between a bowl and a plate. And I just filled it with band-aids of all different kinds. And so when the kids need a band-aid, they know they can just go get one. And you would think, oh my gosh, they'll go use them up. They don't. They just take Band-Aid, and it's also really good for their fine motor skills to open their own Band-Aid. If you have, uh, I don't know if three-year-olds can do it, but four- and five-year-olds can do it. If you have four- and five-year-olds at home, let them open their own Band-Aids because it's so good for these skills, and these skills are what you need for writing. So these are going to go to school, and I did get some extras for friend mail. Because whenever there are band-aids, I always buy lots. Um, now these, I'm not sure if these are new or not, but I figured I'd show them to you. I picked up two. These are going to be for friend mail. Trolls lip balm. And the flavors are, let's see. I'll tell you, the only thing I really don't like about getting older is not being able to see. I cannot see. I just I don't have enough light here. Looks like they're strawberry and orange maybe. I'm not sure. Anyway. Those are for friend mail, so they're just going into the friend mail box. Um, oh, oh, these were brand new, and they were gone almost. Look at these. Look at these tissues. Holy free holy. They're space kitties. Look. They're kitties in outer space. Oh, my goodness. A four-pack for a dollar. Look how cute. These are going in friend mail, but I think what I'll do is break up the pack and just put one in a friend mail. And one more really awesome design. Look at these. Sloth. It's the sloths. I know. I'm so excited about tissues, right? Uh, they didn't call them band-aids, did I? These are tissues. <laughs> Look at these sloths. Oh, my gosh. There were two boxes of them. One was totally empty. The other had these. I bought, I took the last four. Sorry, but I did. I was like, I gotta have those. So sometimes it really just is the little things. All right, tissues. Friend mail. Uh, let's see. Also for friend mail, I had not seen these stickers before. Now, we are getting the new crafter square things, but I told you my none of my Dollar Trees have the big new craft dials. I'm so disappointed, but I had not seen these before. I don't know, maybe they're old and I just never saw them before, but I think they're pretty cool. So those will be for friend mail. I got these. These were new. I saw someone else showing these. They had them in pink. They had them in white. But I just got this. This is for pocket letters. Not friend mail. Pocket letters. 
I did see one other person show these, but I, I have to show you anyway in case you haven't seen them because they're just beautiful. And these will fit into the Hanukkah decor. Anything that's blue, white, silver fits into the Hanukkah decor. So um, these are just stunning. Now, they're, they're plastic, but they're heavy duty. Like, I can't even bend it. Plastic. And these are beautiful. They're meant to be Christmas decorations, but... In my home, I'm going to use them. Maybe I'll put dreidels in them, those little tops that you spin. Some of you may know about Hanukkah. Some of you probably know, but I got two of those, so I'm really excited. Look how beautiful. Oh, my gosh. So beautiful. Uh, I got some more tissue. I have a, a lot of friend mail I want to send out, so I got some pretty, some pretty um, printed, different um, designed tissue for friend mail. I did buy a couple of these Christmas cards for when I send out um, special cards to people for Christmas because I do send out Christmas cards. Um, some Jewish people send out just Hanukkah cards. Some people send out Hanukkah and Christmas. Some people don't send out any cards. I send out Hanukkah and Christmas and I get Hanukkah and Christmas. So if you want to send me a Christmas card, that is absolutely fine. And what I do, I have a beautiful arch here. My house is very small. It's a ranch and it's very tiny, which is perfect for me. But it's got it's got arched doorways, which I just love. And so I put all my cards up there around the doorway. So anyway, I got this one. I thought it was beautiful. Warm and cozy wishes. Wishing you a cozy Christmas and a happy new year. Beautiful. Okay, and then I got this one. Fa la 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 lama. How cute is that? These cards are so awesome. I mean, they're definitely worth worth it for a dollar. Wishing you a holiday that fills you with joy. Merry Christmas. That's a beautiful card. So where's the other one? Oh, here it is. Shy Town Girl, Beth on Shy Town Girl showed this one. Can you believe this is a Christmas card? But it's so beautiful and it says, have a magical Christmas. And then inside it says, may your Christmas be magical in every way. How cool is that? I love that. So I did get some special Christmas cards to send to people. I also got these um, more of these happy birthday boxes. They started putting these out, I guess about, I don't know, maybe a month ago. And I they only had a couple, and they come in different sizes, and they're all a dollar, of course. But what's really nice is that you can store them inside each other. Uh, for storing them and recently one of my co-workers she has twin daughters and they had a birthday and they love my cookies that I bake at Hanukkah time usually so I decided to bake them cookies and uh, I didn't make Hanukkah cookies I made chocolate chip cookies I'm a I love baking I'm a good baker and I filled up the box I put wax paper and I filled it up with cookies and they went nuts for the cookies, but they loved these boxes. So I said, you know what, let me get some more. Here's a new style. I'm not sure if I love that color, but it's cool because the confetti moves. And I like I like this more than I like that color, but yeah. Anyway, now, it, you know, look, at Dollar Tree, when they have stuff like this, the big stuff in the little, there's still a dollar, but what are you gonna do? And then I got this style, Birthday Wishes. You may have seen this one. And then I, since I was baking cookies for the for her daughters, I wanted to give her some cookies too. So I had one of these boxes that says let's party. So I put her cookies in here because it's not necessarily a birthday box. And they also have that in different sizes. So I got a bigger one of those. They're just so fun, these boxes. I had used them for someone else's birthday a few weeks ago and they were like, oh, I'm gonna save this. People just love these boxes, so. Anyway, I picked up some more of those. Now, I have something else new that I have not seen. I haven't seen anybody haul. And they are sticky notes, but they're so freaking cute. Look at these. I love this. And they're Jot. And it says, Prickly Today. Oh, my gosh. I think we could all use one of these, right? Mm hmm And just hand it to someone if you're having a bad day. <laughs> right this is me prickly today I bought a couple of these these are for friend mail and this one is cute it says always the agenda hey you can never have too many sticky notes that's for sure and then 
Uh, this one, it says, when, uh, it says, when life gives you lemons, start making lemonade. And I thought that was really cute because it, it reminds me of the lemon plates, which reminds me, uh, I got a bunch of bubble wrap here somewhere because I am mailing, I have an extra lemon plate and I am mailing it to K is for Karen. So I think I might throw these in with that for her. So uh, I emailed her and asked her if she still was looking for that fourth lemon plate because I knew she could only find three and she said yes. So I'm gonna mail her that extra plate that I have. I found a couple more of these cool squishy pens. Oh my gosh, these are just the best. They're selling out fast, man. I mean, wherever I see them, they only have a few left. So I think I've probably got about five of them now. I'm going to keep a couple for myself and then friend mail. Subscribe to my channel and be my friend. And I'll send you some goodies. <laughs> I love giving people stuff. I don't know. I just do. Now, I picked up these tags because I'm working on a couple of, um, I mean, I do give Christmas presents too, but the reason I picked these up is because I'm working on two fall pocket letters, and I thought this picture would, this is what caught my eye, perfect, and this one, perfect, for fall pocket letters, and then I'll save the tags for when I do Christmas presents for people. Oh, um, and while I'm talking about the boxes, you know, the happy birthday boxes, look at these. These are awesome. Happy birthday. You can put glasses in them. You can put cookies in them. You can put anything that fits in there. You can put a gift card with a lot of stuff. So they had two new ones. So I picked up these two. I love these. They're so cool. And I like this one because the candles just go right over the cake but you know these are really awesome not all the stores have them all the time so i was really excited to find them and then again i picked this up um it is i picked this up it's a foam craft kit but i picked it up because of the things that are in it for my fall pocket letters i thought there might be some useful things i really like the acorn and the leaf down here and I think the last things to show you from this haul, I'm just looking around because there's so much stuff around me. Uh, I picked up these eyeglasses cords for pocket letters because look how beautiful these beads are. This is the last thing I'm going to show you. What are, my, what are my minutes that I'm up to? No, it's not showing me. Okay. Oh, that was glary. Um, but I think these are going to be beautiful for my fall pocket letters. Yeah, these are not easy to open, so... I got that one. Look at the beads on these. Look how beautiful they are. Beautiful. And I don't use reading glasses. I have... Oh, why did that get so glary? Let me turn that off. Oh, that's so much better. Uh, I have progressive lenses, so the bottom is close up and the top is far away. So I don't need reading glasses. But And look at these beads. I was just standing waiting in line and I saw these and I said, Oh, those beads are gorgeous. I mean, and they're almost as many beads as in the... As, as you can get in a little packet of beads at Walmart for a dollar. So I was like, these are awesome. Okay, guys, that's it for this. I will have another Dollar Tree haul for you in a day or two. And I hope you're, you have are having a great Sunday. I am going to go ahead and post this today, even though I posted two other videos today. Because I wanted you to see the new stuff. Ooh, I love when there's new stuff. And I have been checking out all the new Christmas stuff. And it makes me wish I celebrated Christmas. But I don't. So, oh well. Oh, I know what I forgot to show you. They had, oh, Hanukkah paper. I couldn't believe it. Now, but I know why. It's because of Hallmark. Because the Hallmark came into Dollar Tree, Hallmark has Hanukkah stuff. So, see, it's Hallmark Expressions. Hanukkah paper for a dollar. Are you kidding me? It's always at least 4 or $5 for a roll of Hanukkah paper. I don't know. It costs more, I guess, because they don't, you know, the regular stores don't have as much of it as the Christmas paper. A dollar. So I was thrilled. They had a couple other patterns, too, but I, I didn't know how much I need. So I said, let's not go crazy. And I, but very exciting for me. So anyway, enjoy the rest of your day and have a good week. And I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.